Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm coming to share with you small envelope booklet. Uh, I hope I can call that this way. Uh, I'm making uh, my family lab book. It will contain uh, all of family photographies. And uh, I wanted to have there some you know, pocket openings and I was missing gear on this space something. So I have created this small booklet uh, where you can write down some things you can glue there some pictures it has pockets and it has uh, i'm gonna take off these ephemeras probably because it will be for our family uh, family pictures maybe i will leave them there i'm not sure yet and it has loads of pockets here here and here so today i'm coming to share with you how i have created uh, it will be on my etsy so I think it will be much more easy to have a look. Uh, if you are interested to see how I uh, created the base for this lab book, it's already on my Patreon. I will put links down, down below. And I'm also planning to create one more of these books with step by step, by step of how I decorated that book. Uh, because that decoration I made uh, off the camera. Is it? I mean, I didn't do video with decorations. I needed to try it myself. So <clears throat> the base for this lab book is already on my Patreon. But the decorative part I will just uh, do with that second lab book. Uh, so today I'm going to share with you. Uh, I will have this one on my Etsy. Link will be down below. Uh, it's three, four, four pages. Uh, there are some ephemeras. And there are uh, journaling pages, this and this one, and there is a cover for that. So I'm going to cut out all these pieces and then I will show you how I put it together. So I have cut out everything. I've got here those two journaling pages and I've got here that pocket. And th these are those two, two, those small pieces. So I'm going to use the, those frames as a pocket for those journaling pages and this small ruler as a pocket in the flap of that envelope so it looks like this uh, I'm gonna take one of these journaling pages it's already folded half I used a tea dyed ranger distress ink to distress all these edges and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna fold On the cover I'm gonna fold these flaps inside, put there a glue I'm gonna put the glue here close to the fold on the pocket not behind the fold but uh, here on, on this pocket and I'm gonna take that journaling page and try to place it right in the middle like this to make sure it's not behind the fold so it can be folded this way like this here are corners from my journaling pages so i'm gonna cut them off and cut them off so i've got the first booklet here i'm gonna take those second journaling pages and do kind of similar on that opposite side i'm gonna put glue here i just folded it and uh, distressed with that tea dye uh, Ranger Distress Ink and I'm gonna place it here on that back side make sure it's not in the on the fold here like this and again here are picking those corners from those journaling pages so I'm gonna Cut it off, cut it off, and I've got one book 
booklet. Another booklet. Oh, come on, sit down. And I've got here these frames. <clears throat> and they are in the size of these journaling pages so they can be used as pockets. So I'm gonna fold these sides. I haven't cut these frames exactly. I cut uh, the long sides exactly how they are on the picture. But here I left even that white space that uh, between those frames. I left it there to have something, you know, to use it to use it like those folds. And somewhere here. And I'm going to put that glue on the bottom and here. And place it on my page. And let it dry. But here that second one I'm gonna do exactly the same just fold that side then measure the opposite side where I should fold it I think it's somewhere here yes so I'm gonna put the go here on the bottom and on the opposite side, bottom, and glue it down. So I've got two pockets here, one here, one here. And I've got pocket here, and pocket here. And I've got loads of ephemeras to use for decoration. I got this small ruler, so I'm gonna use that ruler like slight spot. It's not kind of pocket because it's too small. And I got here this long piece, and here on the top it has a star, so. What you can do is cut the bottom of that star, you know, from the middle. Oh, not that way. Hold it properly. When you are trying to cut that star. Here. So I've got star like this and now I'm gonna fold the bottom and just slide it behind the star like this one I'm gonna use this dress ink and very easily can glue it somewhere. I think here it's good because it will also hold the ephemeras inside. So I'm gonna put the glue just on the top. Ah, I think my son arrived. So we did glue it here, this one. And I've got here so many ephemeras so they can be stuck inside. They can be used uh, as decoration on pages to clip them there. You can use these. <laughs> the decor. I think I'm going to clip this here.
and just slide it there. And maybe this one here and I'm gonna clip it together again and one more time here so I can slide something behind maybe this one and this one here and you're flying everywhere. Here I've got four labels, so it can be up, you know, somewhere. I'm gonna put it to my pocket at the front. I'm gonna slide these two small here. And as a closure, I'm gonna take again um, Velcro closure. And I'm going to add here Velcro, Velcro closure. I've got here these half circles, so I'm going to take one, two, two of these half circles. Ooh. So one here on one side. And another on the other side here okay. and I'm gonna close it it's in the size which can be fit to do envelope so you can send it as uh, you know that pen pal, uh, pen pal envelope and it's not too thick although these uh, velcro, velcro closures they are thicker but uh, usually that envelope it's not too thick it has uh, so many pockets and it will be wonderful even in journals if you will imagine to put this into your journal maybe like this to glue it on the page and have this one as a, another pocket so you will have pocket with opening with another pocket here, with journaling space, with journaling space. Here, one pocket, another pocket, and another pocket here. So even for junk journals, I think this one will, will be wonderful to add here and there, you know, like decoration. I'm going to slide it to my pockets because it's flying everywhere. And I'm going to close it with that. So it looks like this. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. I hope you've got a wonderful day. I will put all links down below for this collection, for this uh, envelope booklet. And also for this uh, base of this lab book we have created. Have a wonderful day. Take, take care about yourself. And I hope I will see you soon. Bye.